So I was asked to be the, the master of ceremonies here at the Coronation Ball back in 2011. Kind of a last minute choice, their master of ceremonies apparently couldn't be with them. Since then, the pageant has tried very hard to find someone else, and they haven't. So you are stuck with me again this year. Thank you so much. Don't worry, I won't talk for long. I've already been paid. Uh, so I decided to take a look on the internet and see what other interesting town festivals there might be across the country to try and compare to the Windsor Shad Derby. And so I found these for you. How about out of Spivy's Corner in North Carolina, population of 49, there's the National Hollering Contest. And it draws 10,000 people to that town. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, it gets better. What about Banner Elk, North Carolina, the Woolly Worm Festival in the fall every year, where everyone brings in their pet caterpillar to try and predict the weather for the winter. Yeah, and we think we've got it bad with Shad, right? How about Pruitta, Colorado? Yes, that's the name of a town. Their festival is Mike the Headless Chicken Days. <laughs> Started in 1945, a Fruita resident's chicken survived without a head for a full 18 months. I know. Apparently Mike, the headless chicken, was going to be dinner. The head went off. Mike survived. It was, it was incredible. Read about it on the internet. Some of you already are on your iPhones. <laughs> So every year, during the third weekend of May, the town gathers to commemorate Mike's indomitable spirit with events like the chicken dance contest, chicken recipe competition, and the 5K run like a headless chicken race. There's one more. You know they're getting better, don't you? Nederland, Colorado. The party is known as Frozen Dead Guy Days. Okay, long story short, this family was into cryogenics. Grandpa died. They decided to put him into a cryogenic facility in, in uh, California. Then they got cheap, decided not to spend the money on dad's cryogenic care anymore, brought him home, put him in a shed, started icing him down. The family goes back to Norway they hire a guy that comes in once a month to ice grandpa down. The rest of the town finds out about it and says, we have to have a festival around this. I mean, who wouldn't, right? So, so Frozen Dead Guys is born. And uh, people come from near and far. They do things like coffin races, frozen t-shirt contests. Think about that for a minute ice turkey bowling, brain freeze contest, and the frozen salmon toss. So, I'm thinking about all these things, and I'm thinking about the Shad Derby, and I'm thinking, you know, how mundane. <laughs> we must seem to the rest of the world, that other master of ceremonies out in Colorado tonight saying, and there's a place in Windsor where they have a Shad Derby. You know, when I first came to town, I thought the Shad Derby was all about this strange weekend where you couldn't drive through the middle of Windsor. <laughs> but I stayed in town a little bit longer, and then I figured out, actually, it's all about the parade, but I was wrong. And then my daughter was a Queen's candidate, and I'm like, oh, it's all about the Queen's candidates, and I was wrong. And the little kids that are in the parade, they think it's all about the parade, and they're wrong. And the JCs, they think it's all about the beer booth. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yes. But, but truth be told, okay, I was wrong all those years. I was wrong because this is about hometown USA. This is about service clubs, businesses, friends, residents, neighbors, all getting together every year. This is about apple pie and the girl next door riding through the center of town in a convertible. So welcome 
to the heart and soul of Windsor, Connecticut, welcome to the 2013 Chad Derby Ball.